what's poppin' people, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you are all doing well today. Another beautiful day in what is the apocalypse. <laughs> Just joking, it's a brand new day, football is returning, hopefully in a safe manner. I'm feeling good, you guys should be feeling good, and welcome to today's Chelsea News videos, which is updates on a couple of players we've talked about. Well, to be honest, man, we've talked about all the players, but there's updates. Jesus, Corona, yes, his agent has come out and says, yes, we are talking to Chelsea Football Club. There's been an approach and discussions. How do we feel about that? Versatile player could help the squad. Uh, not overly exciting. But, of course, we know there's been an official approach also for Saeed Benrahma, who looks like he could actually be what we need. So that's good. And it does look like PSG finally won the race for Alex Telles of Porto, longtime Chelsea target. But did they back off a little bit? You know, take their foot off the gas, let PSG come in because they were like, mm, we're not so sure about him yet. And now, I guess, maybe Nicola Tagliafico looks like he could be the real deal. Maybe everything's working out for the best. Chelsea can get things right sometimes. So, we're going to talk about these players in today's video, give you the lowdown, express my opinion on the players, and then ask for yours. And hopefully, we can come together in the comment section and come to some wonderful conclusions, man. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Right, perfect opportunity off that terrible line to ask you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy. Only if you want it, man, but if you do choose to join the fun, please do sub, hit the bell notifications icon, why not like the video, support the movement, man. All right, let's get into it. So let's talk about forwards, wide forwards, wingers, whatever you want to call them. Starting off with Jesus Corona. The 27-year-old Mexican is an incredibly versatile player. He's been playing at fullback, but he's very comfortable playing as a forward on the flanks. And to be honest, as a sort of versatile senior player he could be the perfect well sort of ideal player Frank Lampard is looking for in terms of the fourth winger if he's not expecting to buy any starters having Ziyech, Pulisic and with a backup in hudson Adoy, he could be looking at another backup in the shape of Jesus Groner really versatile but also can help him out a fullback in terms of just generally strengthening your squad to be honest man it could be quite a smart pick Put yourself in the head of the manager for a second and out of the head of the football fan. And to be honest, having that kind of player to help you out out of a tight spot probably makes a lot of sense. And the agent of Jesus Corona has come out and said, yes, man, we are talking to Chelsea. Confirmation, the discussions are there. So we know this is very real. And to be honest, man, if we sign him, it will be really difficult to get hyped on this particular player just because he's not a superstar name. He's not really young and up and coming. But I would feel safer knowing that Frank Lampard's got one of his players that he wants. That makes him feel more backed up in his approach. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? And if he can offer that, great. More back up at, as a forward, as a winger, like, you know, Pedro's gone, William's gone, Jesus Corona comes in. Younger, fresher, like I said, can play at fullback. Got that more sort of programmed brain for playing different places on the pitch. That is really good and it means he can tackle as well if you can play a fullback the dude can tackle having a winger who can tackle that's only a good and helpful thing especially in a league that's as combative as the premier league i'm down generally and it's nice to hear it's sort of the discussions have been confirmed but personally i like many of you would prefer saeed ben rama three years younger than corona at age 24 the brentford winger looks absolutely superb yes playing down in the championship but you know what man he could be more proven to play in the premier league maybe than jesus corona purely because the championship is considered a very physical league like the premier league so i think i'd be more inclined to go for Saeed Ben Rama. Like I said, younger, very tricky winger, scores a lot of goals, gets assists. Again, he'll be happy to come to Chelsea and be the rotational winger because not only is it a massive jump in size of club, he's going up a league. To be honest, a lot of clubs are probably in for Saeed Ben Rama. But he'll easily double, hell, maybe even triple his wages at Chelsea, even as like a rotational winger. So you can imagine that would be massively appealing. The player comes in, he sits on the bench for a while. When he gets his minutes, he tries to perform well. And who knows, if he's really good, he plays himself into the starting 11 at Chelsea. It could happen, man. I've watched the player a little bit as well. Very technical, very tricky. And if he can keep up with the pace of the Premier League, he could be excellent. 
Obviously a little bit older than the likes of Callum Hudson-Odoi, so more experienced, more assured in himself. Has played loads and loads of minutes down in the championship, which I'd like to reiterate, very physical, so he knows how to cope with physicality. I think he could be a massive plus for Chelsea and probably the most suitable winger option available. And to be honest, man, I put that above the likes of Jaden Sancho. Hear me out. Jaden Sancho would be a superstar, top tier, marketable winger signing that you would have to start every game and, you know, upset either Ziyech or Pulisic or someone. Chelsea are looking for a rotational winger. I've talked about this before. Side Ben Rama would be happy to be that. The sort of tranquility of the squad won't be rocks. Everyone will know he's just coming in to replace, say, like Pedro, but he'll get his chances. And if he's good, everyone will have to just concede. You know what, man? You've proved it on the pitch. You get minutes, not just a name coming in and taking the minutes away from a current winger. Do you see what I'm saying? Anyway, I've done another video on Saeed Ben Rama a couple of days ago. I urge you guys to go check it out where I talk about him a little bit more. So let's move on to the next story. And sadly, it does look like Chelsea have lost the race for Alex Tellej. The Porto left back 27 year old Chelsea have been looking at this player for a long long time but there's probably a reason why they haven't taken the the jump the plunge or whatever you know getting the likes of Emerson instead recently does look like Telege is going to go to Paris Saint-Germain. Player probably doesn't mind he's going to earn loads of money there and probably win loads of titles certainly domestic titles and you know what PSG are probably going to pay more than Chelsea to Porto. It had been confirmed a while ago that Chelsea were doing business with Porto for Alex Telege and it actually looked like it might be happening very soon. Journalists were confirming the discussions were going on. People knew Chelsea had been looking at Alex Telles for a long, long time. So people were thinking, well, Chelsea want a left back. He's only got 12 months left on his deal. This is finally going to happen. The truth is, though, Porto wanted more money than Chelsea were happy to pay. And it does look like while Chelsea were in open discussions with them, they were still looking at other options, knowing that Frank Lampard, the coach, was very interested in Ben Chilwell. So perhaps in negotiations, Chelsea weren't going as hard enough for Alex Telles as Porto would have liked. PSG comes strolling in the room saying, we'll have a bit of that. And they're like, yeah, go on then. You know, you look serious. Have him. Leaving Chelsea in a difficult position in many ways. So they're thinking, hmm, Ben Chilwell, the gaffer wants him, but he's going to be too expensive and Leicester don't really need to sell him. But fortunately, into the narrative recently enters Tagliafico. Nicolas Tagliafico of Ajax is an excellent player, the same age, very good at going up and down, defending and attacking. And obviously, Chelsea already have a flourishing relationship with Ajax because they've agreed the transfer of Hakim Ziyech. And maybe Agent Ziyech is in on this one trying to get Tagliafico to the bridge. In terms of player profile target, in many ways he's the same as Telej. Uh, both uh, 27 years old, senior, both playing a relatively competitive league, the Eredivisie and Liga Noche. So it's all about a similar level and they're actually quite similar in many ways, really. Um, I think um, Nicola Tagliafico, looking at him in terms of playing combinational football in a modern attacking side like Chelsea. I think he might fit better and obviously knowing Ziyech, having them both arrive in the summer might be quite a nice option, a nice thing. So as things stand, it probably looks like he is Chelsea's top target at left back. It is a difficult one to understand if it's going to work or how it's going to work because apparently they had been looking at Andre Onana as well because Chelsea have been looking at goalkeepers. Can't really just buy the whole Ajax team, really. To be honest, man, buying two players from one team, the high-profile team like Ajax, in one transfer window would be pretty unheard of in many ways. I mean, I can't think of the top of my head another situation recently where two players have gone from one team to another team together in one transfer window. Let me know in the comment section below if you've got any examples of that. But like, upon stern reflection, man, I can see Tagliafico being a good signing. If Chelsea sign, right, this summer, they sign a striker, like a second striker, um, Saeed Ben Rama and Nicola Tagliafico. In a few months ago, before the pandemic, he'd be like, Ben Rama and Tagliafico. To be honest, Tagliafico was sick before. Like, everyone was watching him in the Champions League and he was good. I guess it was just more people wouldn't expect him to be signed. But a lot of people won't know who he is, and him with Ben Rama, you'd be like, oh, what happened to Jaden Sancho and Timo Werner? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Not the most epic of names, but these are desperate times, and if they're functional players that are going to help the squad, then so be it. I'm all for it. Anyway, what do you think? I want to get your opinions on these players. Jesus Corona, Saeed Ben Rama, Nicola Tagliafico, Alex Telej. Express your thoughts and opinions on all the players and the stories I've spoken of in this video 
down in the comment section below. I'll be down there reading it, interacting with you guys. If you've enjoyed the content today, everyone, please do consider liking the video and, of course, subscribing to Football Therapy. If you've not already done so, please do that. Feel free to follow me on social media too, at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that will be happening soon, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.